welcome to Nerdy Jess. Today we are going to be planning the week of December 9th through Sunday the 15th in my Hobonichi weeks. This is my 2020 Hobonichi. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot going on here this week. I do know that on the 13th my other half has the day off, which is unusual. So we have plans and you'll see that in just a little bit. I will be using this Happy Scrappy kit that I purchased several months ago. It has pink foil. It's very, very cute. And this is sheet H006A and sheet H006B if you're interested in. So why don't we just go ahead and get started? So I really don't have a lot going on this week, which is probably a good thing. One of the things to note if you ever do get a happy scrappy kit is that the Sorry, I'm looking for my permanent pen. Um, you need to make sure that you use a permanent ink when you write on it. That's not it. I have a whole bunch of my um, art things down here right now from a product I was working on and I'm having trouble finding what I'm looking for as a result. There we go, that'll work. So I don't have any, I don't have any pink foil numbers. I don't have, let me see what I've got foil wise for this. Because I don't have a whole lot going on, I haven't really pulled stickers yet. And that gives me more time to talk to you guys. So yeah, I do have this freebie from Sticker Palooza. It's got some header overlays some pretty flowers and it's like a pink hollow. I don't know what I would do with it though. I think I'm going to save this one for an EC spread, especially with those header overlays. It'll be really cute. So I have some kind of exciting stuff going on and um, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm debating on whether or not I should say anything because it's nothing is for certain yet, but I do have some exciting stuff going on. So a very close friend of mine, her name is Bethany Boyd. You can check out her channel. I'll link it up here for you. Um, she is an amazing artist. I mean, it's kind of gross how amazing she is. I just have to be honest with you. I tell her that all the time. Um, I actually tell her she's a bitch because not only does she draw and paint and just crazy beautiful stuff, but she does it in like half the time as a normal person. She also plays the flute brilliantly and the girl can sing and to boot, she's attractive. I mean, she is, yeah, she's just a bitch and I love her so much anyway, but no, so Bethany and I met yesterday and talked and we're talking about potentially starting to make some stickers. And I don't, I don't know yet. I'm, I looked at some of the like priced out, like how much it would be to get a machine and a decent printer and all that stuff. And the paper, wow, the paper is, to be fair, the paper isn't super expensive. It could be worse because if you buy it in bulk, they knock off the price a lot. But anyway, so it's something that we're considering. So one of the things I wanted to post to you guys this week is that what do you feel like is lacking in the market specifically for kits? I do not... Oh, hey. Oh. That's another strip. I thought it was together. I was really excited that that was wider than normal. Do I want to use it, guys? You know what? Why the hell not? Anyway, so do you guys, specific to kids, I don't think I, that's what I was saying. I don't think I want to do a character sheet. Oh, that's like two. No, we're not going to do that. I don't think I want to do any characters. Like I, that there are so many character shops out there that I absolutely adore and love. And I just, I, you know, starting out at least anyway, characters intimidate me for some reason. Oh, Hey, look, it's coming off all at once so we can do it all. So I don't think I want to start off with doing characters, but I really want to do some sticker kits that are, I don't know, more nerd friendly. And I know there's a few shops out there that do that and what I mean by nerd friendly are like more kind of fantasy design based and stuff not so many fashion girls not that I have anything against any of that it's just you know not a whole lot of I don't know 
I don't want to be offensive. I don't want to offend anybody because I actually buy these kits. The kits that I'm talking about, I purchase because I like them. So let me throw that out there. I am not knocking anybody's style because I spend an obscene amount of money on the kits as it is. But I wanted to do something that would just be a little bit different and see if you guys would be receptive to that or if there's anything out there that you guys really f have been looking for that you haven't been able to find successfully somewhere else. Um, so yeah, shoot me some ideas. I don't intend to do any, um, not that I have issues with it, but like fan based kind of stuff. I have a ton of Harry Potter fan base kits um, and all that kind of jazz. But like I said, there's so many. It's like the market is flooded with them. And Disney stuff right now is like going insane because of Disney Plus, I would guess. I mean, it's always there. It's never going away. It's Disney, for heaven's sakes. So I won't do anything like that. And also, I'm kind of scared about copyright stuff. I don't know how that works. Like, how do people, how are people able to create characters that are obvi obviously representative of Disney movies or characters that they created that they have copyrighted and they're creating them. I mean, I know that there's certain laws where fan art is concerned, but like they're actually selling what they're creating based off of their designs. So I've always kind of been curious about that. If you know anything about that, you know, shoot me a comment below and let me know. But yeah, so I was thinking about doing some kits with Bethany and doing some kits of my own. And like, I know it would be a really niche market, but she and I both are, are gamers, tabletop role play games. I told you guys I'm a super nerd. And um, stuff like D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah. But with, yeah, no, so we play those regularly. And one of the kits that I was thinking about working on was a kit that was, you know, themed for Dungeons and Dragons and things like that so let me know what you guys think i realize that the market is flooded there's shops everywhere that more often than not a shop will start and die off just because for all kinds of multitudes of reasons but the fact of the matter is is that i am so here to stay i mean i don't you know if nothing else i'm not i'm gonna make youtube videos and i'm on social media i love playing on social media with people so I figured, why not see if I can make something of it? Wee. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If, if you think it's a good idea. If you think, oh, don't do it. It's not worth your time or effort. If you own a shop and you have any advice, you know, and, and you're comfortable commenting below, please do. If you're not, you can find me on Instagram and shoot me a private message. I know that a lot of the... Um, stuff is kind of guarded some shops are very guarded about like what paper they use and things like that because it is it's a competitive market right like i said it's flooded there are so many shops um so just let me know below if you're comfortable sharing some of that publicly and if not um shoot me a message on instagram i really like the little magic little mug okay um sorry that i digressed they're pretty hardcore my apologies I love these boxes like this. Maybe I'll make this my grateful box or something. I don't know. I don't know. Help me. Uh, let's see. I legit have jack shit going on this week. I am okay with that. So we're going to just sticker the shit out of this, guys. Oh, yeah. They're all going down. Not all of them. I can't do all of them. Let's see, because there really is enough here that you could probably get two weeks out of these. I do keep my remnants of my kits and stuff, so at some point I'll do a, um, like a Frankenstein kind of thing. All right, so, weekend. So how are y'all doing? How's your week going? For those of you that celebrate Christmas, are you ready? Have you finished your shopping? I haven't. I have not. My kids are my kids are middle school aged. They're 10, 12, and 13. And my oldest in particular has always been difficult to buy for. And like the only thing he keeps telling me once are these video games, which is totally cool, but you know, I'm like, come on man, don't you want like I don't know a bike you know like give me something more to go off of here I don't want to just buy you exactly what's on your list 
Whereas the other two, especially my daughter, are super easy to buy for. So, but they're starting, she's even starting to get to an age where everything that she's interested in and wanting, and not because she's selfish by any means, she's just at an age where the things that she's interested in are expensive. So, I'm like, ah. Eh. Okay, so that box is quite a bit bigger. I really want to use that box. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Well, that's sad. See, I know on the 13th, which is Friday, my man, like I said, has the day off and we are going to binge watch The Expanse. Oh my God. All right, who out there are sci-fi fantasy like uh, lovers? Because if you have not checked out The Expanse and you have to pay attention, it's highly detailed. So it's not going to be like you can just sit down and, and do other stuff. You actually need to watch and listen and pay attention to the dialogue. So just a, just a warning first off. So if you have not watched The Expanse yet and you are a sci-fi fan in particular, guys, it is fan-freaking-tastic. It's on Amazon Prime Video if you have that. It may be on other stations and stuff too or streaming services. I don't know. That's just the one that we found it on and used. And on the 13th is when they come out with the next season. And we had been binging it. Oh, man. Happy Dia sticker. Not Happy Dia. I'm sorry. Happy Scrappy stickers are not friendly. And I do, Stephanie, if you're watching, I think it was you, Stephanie, who told me about Undo. It is sitting in my cart on Amazon waiting for me to purchase it. And right now, I really wish it was sitting on my desk next to me. <laughs> anyway, so The Expanse. Yeah, super good. If you like sci-fi definitely worth the time to watch it is it's just really really good and on for those of you out there who are sciencey in any way or mathy well math is a science too but you know what I mean um, especially physics you will you will greatly appreciate it so my other half is not a physicist but he spends his time reading physics articles and journals and all kinds of stuff I don't know I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it because it's not like you know, pathogenic and going to kill you. So I don't really pay attention, but, um, he, uh, he was telling me while we were watching it, that one of the things that he loves about it is the fact that they actually pay attention to the physics of space. So like, as an example, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I digress, but my channel's name is nerdy Jess guys. You're going to have to expect some of this sometimes. So as an example, and I don't know all the physics terminology, forgive me for those of you who have had more physics education because I just have the basics. Um, the When you're in outer space, right? You're in a vacuum. So there's nothing to, like, there's no air to, to help slow you down. So the way that you decelerate, right? Is that like the ship, haha, look, I'm gonna make a cartoon. Here's my pen, okay. So this is your spaceship, right? And the engine is back here and the ship's going this way. In order for the ship to slow down, you would think that they would just put like other engines here that would push the opposite direction. But the best way to decelerate is actually for the ship to use thrusters and flip over so that the engine is decelerating so that, you know, you're going this way. And then as because you flipped it, you're applying the same force in the opposite direction. So it will come to a still. And it's not like a like stop, but it, it's much more effective at really high speeds for it to flip and just do it that way. I hope that made sense. But anyway, so he was telling me that that was one of the things that he was really impressed with where their show was concerned because they actually paid attention. Like they, they did it right, if you will, at least theoretically. I'm not sure how much, I mean, obviously we haven't had a spacecraft that's capable of going to the... Um, outer planets or anything but it's really cool um, it's got a lot of political drama in it which in the um, oh, what do you call it like in in the perspective of the show itself the political drama is done well it doesn't drag on and on like like it's there and it's a continual theme ah! But they're not like trying to teach you a lesson with it is, is what I'm saying. It's not like some hidden moral agenda. It's just very likely that if this situation were occurring, this is how the human species would respond. So 
definitely recommend it. Super awesome. But anyway, so the whole point of me bringing that up is that my man is taking the day off on the day that it releases the next season um, because he had to use up some vacation time before the end of the year. And we are going to snuggle up and binge watch it all day. I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite things to do is to watch more cerebral kind of stuff with him because we can actually have some really interesting conversations that kind of spin off from it because we're both super nerdy that way. I guess in this case, in this cake, in this case, opposites did not attract. We are both nerdy. Sorry if you're listening, babe, but you're nerdy too. Oh man. All right, I'm done with the science talk. Sorry guys. I love science. Okay. I had, so the channel hit 150 subscribers, which I am over the moon about. All of you are freaking awesome and I love you all. Um, I can't actually say that. I might not even like you if I met you, but as far as I'm concerned in a detached way, I definitely love you. Um, but in any case, no, <laughs> with sincerity, um, there is uh, someone, that would, a shop owner that actually subscribed to my channel and I won't call her out because I don't want to, to like put her on the spot, but I think she'll know who it's her that I'm talking about because I've already talked to her in messages. But when I saw that she had subscribed, I was like, oh my God, I'm famous. <laughs> like I was so excited because I absolutely love her shop. And no, it's not Helen from the Coffee Monsters Co. I didn't think about that, but it isn't Helen. It's one of my other favorite shops. So surmise all you want to, but it feels really good to have other planner folks and shop owners and people who are established in the community that um, have subscribed and I've had some really wonderful comments lately from some folks on Instagram and the best one I think I've had honestly was um, one of the folks on Instagram who is into planning um, and also a fellow nerd um, and I mean that in a in a positive way um, anyway but she she actually told me she laughed a lot while she was watching and that feels really good because I, you know, if anybody were to actually take me super seriously, I would feel really bad. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking to you and not getting what I need. I need, uh, -oh, somebody just walked in the house. Dun, dun, dun. I need, are you in here? No. Oh, you're in the one that I don't have a label on. Do you guys talk to your stickers when you're looking for them? Where's it? Okay. In here from Sprouted Paper Co. I have some of my date nights. This, I love these little guys laying on top of each other. They're hilarious. So we're gonna do these two. And let's see. Ooh, bump the desk. Sorry, yo. Do we want to, I think we're just, I don't know. What are we doing guys? What am I doing? I guess we'll use one of these and I can write on it first and say, I'm just gonna say binge date. Binge. Yeah. So, okay. How do you guys spell binging? Is it B-I-N-G-I-N-G? -I -N -G? Isn't that binging? Like, what am I missing here? Oh, hold on just a second. All right. Sorry about that. I guess to you, you did, didn't really change anything. But, um, yeah, binging. Like, what am I missing here spelling-wise? I'm usually pretty good at this spelling thing. Yay, now. Don't stick yet. I did not want that. Helps if you hold it right. I'm thinking I want to do it kind of wonky like this. Yeah. And then my little sprouted. Where do you want to go, little sprouted guys? We're going to go right here. 
are you? No. Mm, I don't know. We're going to stick them there because that's just where they're going. Boom. I honestly, like, will lay over him. Like, <laughs> I'm being stupid. <laughs> You're like, come cuddle me. I'm like, okay. And I'll just, like, lay over his hip. Be like, oh, that's nice. Anyway, that may have been an overshare. I mean, we're clothed and everything. Quit it. Quit being dirty. God. Okay. So, guys, that's, like, the only thing I have going on this week. We have so many stickers left. I think we'll save them. Do you think we should save them? I've got cat hair on it. That's really cute. This kit is really cute. Well done. I think her name is Sam. Super cute. Okay. That's it. That's all I've got. This will definitely be filling up though as the week goes on because I do, there's a couple of things that I know that I'm kind of thinking about wanting to do, like maybe going over to a friend's house or something this weekend. So, all right guys. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. I guess I can show you what the weeks have been like so far. We've only done a few, right? Two more. Really? So I never finished this. I don't, do you guys do that? Do you have pages where like you've decorated everything and you're really good and then you hit like midweek and then the rest of it you're like oh my god like I did order stickers I did not go to Pilates I overslept but it was a holiday week and then yeah I haven't done much with this this week today is actually Thursday so we went to the cardiologist this morning I just don't have much going on I'll go back in and, and look at my dailies and put in something I guess but yeah that's it guys so this was a kit from Happy Scrappy. I appreciate you hanging out with me. This is everything I have left. It's quite a bit. Definitely enough for another spread. So we will hold on to that and use it again later. I appreciate the time that you spend with me. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you below. Take time. Check out my... Oh, something new. I do have... I am now an Amazon affiliate. So what that means is basically is that I can sell products that Amazon sells using like I log in to their site and then they'll generate a link for me and if you purchase the product through that link it gives me anywhere from like 1% to 10% kickback and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if that's something you're interested in in helping me out with and doing it's on my website at nerdyjess.com and right now all that I have on there I do have some, my Muji pins that I like to use in my planners and the undo, uh, the rest of it are art supplies at this time. So I will be filling that up as time goes on. So keep an eye on that. And also my art prints are for sale there. Yay, the giveaway is still live, folks. It ends on the 16th of December. So if you have not checked out the speed art video uh, to win the finished product of the owl, please take a moment and do that. All right, guys, have a great day. I hope that all of your plans come to fruition. Happy planning. Peace.